Hi patrons, my name is Larissa and I'm the Adult Services Librarian here at the Galena Public Library. Every so often we do a crafty program. So if we were to have these in person, we'd be doing a craft and having a cup of tea, but we're doing them virtually because of our pandemic procedures. I did do a live Zoom program version of this class, but this is the recorded version. We are making tiny acrylic landscapes. So if you're uh, local to the area, you can give me an email and I'll put that in the description down below and I can set you up with a crafty kit. If you're not a local and you're watching this video, you can just follow along and get the supplies on your own. But for Selena patrons here, you'll have the bag with your tiny canvas and your four different paint colors, orange, red, yellow, and black. And there will also be two paintbrushes in there. I gave you two just in case one got really sloppy or you wanted to use a different one for the black or however you wanted to do it. And then in there, since this is craft tea, there's also a tea bag and a couple of treats. Things you might need to want to have on hand at home to do this would be um, some newspaper. I do have newspaper on the table down here just to keep the paint off the table. If you're a real messy painter, you might want to wear gloves or an apron or whatever it is that you need. I also keep paper towels on hand for paintbrush blotting and some water to wash the brush off between colors. I'm gonna point the camera down so that you can see what I'm doing on my work surface here and we can get started with this project. Now we're painting uh, in a, on a very, very small scale here, but these are acrylic paints and the acrylic paints are a little thicker and they blend together, they blend together very nicely, but they'll also not blend if you don't want them to. Um, Often this type of painting might be done with a palette knife, but I found that on this scale, a brush works just fine. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna work on this gradient where it goes from light to dark. And how I like to do that is I take a little bit of each color and kind of put it on there. If you had a squirt bottle of acrylic paint, you could just squeeze a dot on to each one. So we're not taking this all the way down to the bottom because we're gonna put that black down at the bottom. And we're gonna be blending them so it doesn't really matter at this point if each dot has a little bit of each color in it. So don't worry too much about getting your paints all mixed up. So then what we're gonna do is start at the top and this is where I take my paper towel and I block my brush off a little bit. Just to make sure it's not too wet. We kind of want this to be Kind of chunky we're not really thinning our paint out if you have too much water on in between when you wash off your brush you're going to end up with a bit too much paint so i'll try to turn this around so you can see it right side up so we're just going to start by moving down the canvas and you can see it when you start up at the top and go from the dark to the lightest they're going to blend together and I want a little bit more yellow here okay so as we're moving down we're blending so you can already see the gradient that we have going on here now, if you're going to go back up to the top, make sure you clean off your brush. 
you don't want too much yellow in the top, we're trying to make a gradient here. Although you can see in this one, there's a little bit of yellow throughout. But be careful. So you don't want to end up with it all being one color. Taking it all the way out to the edges. Okay. So I have my gradients. And I might touch it up a bit later, but I'm happy with it for now. So I am going to take my other brush and I'm going to dip into the black here. I'm going to start by filling in this part here that's white at the bottom. And I'm not going to worry too much about that wet paint up there. But I am going to worry about it a little bit. <laughs> so can just fill that in there. And then you can see here, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to kind of make these sort of feathery designs that kind of look like plants and stuff. And I didn't really have any particular plan in mind when I did that. I just started painting and I'm kind of dabbing. I'm not I'm not um, not taking strokes with the brush because this is wet paint here. So I'm, and the dabbing kind of gives it like a feathery sort of plant-like appearance. So you want paint on the very tip of your brush here. You can see how that's starting to take shape. And you can, you can decide how high you go with them or how, how tall or how much you want to do. You could try to do a tree or some cactuses or, but I suggest keeping it pretty simple doesn't really need to be doesn't really need to be very much there just kind of a suggestion personally I like paintings to be a little bit abstract so I'm not going for any any particular type of anything here really so you can see my plant silhouettes there and I might play with it a little bit more but I'm fairly satisfied with how that's turned out. So yours is going to look how it's going to look. Um, you can do your own creative thing with yours. So there we have it. We've made a tiny mini sunset canvas. It's amazing what you can do with just a little bit of paint on a tiny surface. Um, let me just show you another example of a tiny canvas that I have done. You can see this one is more of a prairie kind of, or a field of flowers, some kind of field of flowers, where I did the gradient with the blue and the white and then the bright clouds. And then I just did in the green and different flower colors to make a little field there. Thank you for crafting with me today. Again, if you're a local and you would like a kit to make one of these mini sunset acrylic canvases, you can email me. I'll put that in the description down below. My name is Larissa Disler, and I will put together a kit for you. You know, and make sure that if you like, if you enjoyed doing this, please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and click the little bell for notifications so you know when we post new programming content. And I'll also leave a link down below 
to our Eventbrite page where you can register for any upcoming programming that we might have. We have a lot of things coming up. We have a concert and a Tai Chi class and a lot going on for Earth Day and also a poetry open mic, which will be later in the month of April. So a lot going on, a lot to think about, and I hope you have a great day. Thanks for painting with me. Bye-bye. Thank you.